Let's do something a little bit different today. Here's a Notion feature that you should never use in your workspace. No, seriously. This one will actually make your Notion setup worse. Wikis. And I don't mean knowledge management in Notion. That's of course amazing. I'm talking about the turn into wiki feature. Before we dive in, if you're new, hey, I'm Matthias and I help build teams powerful Notion workspaces that actually get the job done. And now let's talk about how this innocent seeming feature can really ruin your workspace. First, let's talk about what the Notion Wiki actually is. It is a special database that plays by slightly different rules compared to all the other databases in your setup. Mainly, it can contain other databases directly, right? That's not possible otherwise. You can put a database top level into another database. And it has this unique auto add feature, plus a few more quirks and tricks. In order to create a wiki, we go to the top and top right corner, there's three dots, and then we go to this turn into wiki option. And now we have our new wiki and we have a little bit of a tooltip going on here. So, so far, right, this all looks great. We have my pages still here. I can swap between this and I have now this uh, database where it automatically organizes it. So yeah, pretty neat overall, you might think at least. But there's a good reason that I'm making an entire video just to warn you about this feature. It basically comes down to this. There are no real upsides to using a wiki and some very real downsides. Let's first focus on these downsides because they're quite important. The first and biggest problem with Notion wikis is the pattern break. Notion is already a really complicated tool to learn. And that's even more true if you don't learn Notion because you want to in your free time, right? Because you want to become a power user. But if you happen to work in a company or in a team that uses Notion for collaboration, right? In these contexts, it's not your job really to spend a ton of time with Notion. You just want to use the tool to get something else done. So that means whenever you build a Notion setup for a company or a team, right, you need to keep it as simple as possible. Not to, you know, sacrifice functionality, but to make sure not to over-engineer things. So things like, you know, having repeatable structures where things look familiar, they behave the same way is really, really important. In any kind of pattern break, right, anything where you say, well, in 80% of cases, this is how Notion looks like and this is how Notion works. But in there like these, you know, 10 to 20% where it's different, right, these are very costly and will increase the time that it takes for your team to learn the right behaviors. Now, one of the most important behaviors that you want your team to learn is that whenever they do something in Notion, they should utilize databases. And we should utilize a low number of global databases wherever possible. So that means we don't just create random pages anywhere in our workspace, right? And just like organize them a little bit on the page, like Ben Borowski, right, calls this the Craigslist effect. It looks sometimes nice in screenshots, but it's very, very inefficient. And instead, we want to make sure that all of our data lives in databases. So we have a task database, right? We have a project database. And yes, we have a database for our wiki or for our docs, but ideally a normal one. Because the problem is that the wiki feature has one thing that all of these databases don't have. And that's this weird auto adding functionality. If you use a wiki, right, you have this thing where you, and on your main wiki page, you can just take, take, type slash page, right, uh, a new entry. And then the sort of like on the first class cool thing is that this new entry, even though it like looks like a, just a regular entry on a page right here, I can drag and drop it around. There's no properties here. I can even, you know, add columns here, right, and start organizing these things in different columns, right? It's basically a free uh, floating uh, Notion page. But at the same time, uh, if I switch now over to this other view, I see that it happens to be in a database, right? Notion Wiki automatically adds everything that's on this page into the database, which is kind of the result that we want. We want people to add things to a database, but the fact that here it sort of happens half automated and in all other situations they need to like make the conscious decision to do so is bad. It's a little bit like using training wheels on your bike or, you know, these swimming aids in the pool for too long. Sure, it might make it a bit easier in the beginning to get the hang of it or to not make a mistake and not to drown or fall off your bike. But if you keep using them all the time, you don't learn the real process for all the other databases, right? Remember, wikis, they pretty much only work for knowledge, but you have so many other databases in your company system. And for example, you don't want people to start creating OKRs or projects or tasks just as random entries on a page and then wondering why they don't shop in the right place. So rather than using this pattern break, right, where in some cases uh, our wiki behaves like this and in other cases we need to do it differently, we want to make sure that everything looks pretty much the same. We have buttons, right, to add things. We see our databases directly as entries. We have wikis, but on these wikis, right, we have linked entries and then we have a bunch of buttons to add new uh, entries to make sure that they always end up in a database. The second issue is the feature lag. 
since Notion wikis are a separated part, right? They, they don't follow the same rules as all the other databases in your system. Whenever Notion ships new features, it can happen that wikis actually lag behind and they don't get the fun full functionality. For example, both when Notion Formulas 2.0 launched and when we got our better and improved database automations, wikis were not fully supported. So now you have kind of a double pattern break, right? Where for one, wikis like they behave slightly different in terms of the UI when you use them and certain features that you can roll out to the rest of your workspace don't work there yet. The biggest issue, however, in my opinion, is the data trap. And this comes back to the metaphor, right? With the training wheels or the zooming aids. If you, you know, mature enough and you don't uh, need them anymore to ride your bike, well, you can just take them off and your bike still works. Not so with the Notion Wiki. So let's just take a look at this, right? So if we go back to our company wiki here and we go to the database, right? This is our database. We organize things. We have owners in here. I have a verification. Maybe I add some random tags right to it. doesn't really matter, but I have a lot of metadata, right? And I use this to organize my structure. Maybe we also have a status property, right? Let's add that in. So we, we've done a lot of work, right? We have hundreds, if not thousands of documents in our knowledge base and uh, have organized them that way. And then at some point we realized, okay, wikis, it's maybe not ideal, right? Our team has gotten used to it now. We, we need the new functionality and we just want to, you know, unify it across the workspace. So, well, let, let's turn it back, right? Let's make sure that this is no longer a special wiki, but a normal database. Let's see what happens if I go back to these three dots in the top right corner, right? And say undo wiki. Rather than, you know, this turning into a normal database, I can just now manage like the rest of my workspace, right? So sort of like in this idea where we have normal database plus then wiki functionality, it actually turns it back into a page, right? We just have our individual pages here. All that meta information that we so carefully created, it's gone, right? And if I you know, just now turn this back into a wiki, let's go there through this again, right? Learn more, yes, okay, we will go through this onboarding experience again. Uh, try it on, right? I switch back to my all pages. Well, well, the properties are also not there, right? Even the properties that I previously created in this are gone and all the data needs to be added again. And this problem is only going to get bigger over time. Because since Notion introduced wikis, right, it was kind of this pattern for a while where Notion uh, tried to ship more like ready-made pieces to help people get over this initial lump, which is a great idea, right? But they shipped it a while ago, nothing really has changed with them since. And my hope is actually that the team will, you know, realize that this is not really a good direction and roll it back. But then that might also put you as a wiki user in another, you know, issue, right? If wikis are less and less supported, if they take longer and longer to get new features, right? They have more and more pattern breaks and you just can't get out of them because your data is trapped in them. Well, that creates a very bad situation. So better not use wikis in the first place. So rather than trying to use this sort of band-aid solution that kind of covers up a little bit of the complexity, but doesn't really help you in the long run, it's better to face and tackle this complexity face on, right? Your team will have to understand databases, at least at a rudimentary level, and they have to understand the basic concept of Notion. Now that you know all the drawbacks and reasons why not to use wikis, let's quickly see it how you can, you know, use their special features in a different way to make sure you don't lack anything in the rest of your workspace. First up, organizing databases. That is, of course, nice, right? I wish I could put it in a regular database in Notion, but it's not the biggest issue, right? You can simply use a dedicated page, either a backend page within your normal setup or even a separated team space that you lock down and restrict any access points to, right? To make sure that it's very easy for you to know where all your global databases are. Second, page verification. Well, my old answer used to be just build your own, right? It's very easy to create or recreate this. You don't get this little blue check bubble, but other than that, you can have the exact same effect. And now Notion even rolled out page verification outside of wikis, right? If you're in a business or enterprise plan, you can just start verifying pages even outside of wikis. Another sign, by the way, right, that I think that wikis will soon be abandoned and you should do that also. And last but not least, right, the simplified setup. Well, as I mentioned already, teaching and educating is much better here. Uh, teaching your team, right, that things should go in the database, explaining why it is so beneficial, right, to have this organization rather than just, you know, creating pages randomly in your setup. You will never be able to replace this with this band-aid solution that just does it kind of half-heartedly for them. So much for wikis and why, in my opinion, you should not use them. Now I'd love to hear from you. How do you feel about it, right? Do you think Notion should keep developing them or abandon them? And then if you want to keep learning Notion and figure out what's the best way to actually set up Notion for your team, well, I've got you covered. Here is a thorough guide that goes from, you know, an empty page all the way to a full company setup, including proper databases, not wikis, and to make sure that you have the perfect start for your company. Just click here and I'll see you in a few seconds.